no sooner than I made a video about how to stream on Sony mirrorless cameras using a capture card than Sony release an app of their own enabling you to be able to do this without a capture card. Not that it makes the capture card obsolete, but interesting timing as it's been a long time that a lot of the Sony Alpha cameras have been out without webcam capabilities and now bam all of a sudden an app is now available allowing you to do it without a capture card. So this app is called the Imaging Edge Webcam. As you may know, a lot of Sony's camera software is under the name Imaging Edge, so this is just another variety of that software. But is the Imaging Edge webcam software any good? Well, let's find out. Before we get started, I make lots of videos about tips and tricks for Sony E-mount cameras. So if that sounds like your sort of thing, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video. So to set up the Imaging Edge webcam app, first you need to go to the Imaging Edge software website, that was a bit of a mouthful, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. When you get onto the website, the first thing you'll see is the full list of compatible cameras, which includes most E-mount cameras. Which leads me to the first, the good news, that this software is compatible with the old faithful Sony A5100, which I still use all the time. Which now means you can use the Sony A5100 as a webcam, or for live streaming, or for video conferencing, anything like that, without the need for a capture card which means you don't have to buy any extra hardware to be able to use this camera as a webcam. A big bonus. The bad news is that another very popular camera, the Sony A6000, is not compatible with the Imaging Edge webcam app, so you can't use this as a webcam without using a capture card. A big annoyance, and this is going to frustrate a lot of Sony A6000 users, because basically every other Sony A6000 range camera, so the A6100, A6300, A6500, A6600, are all on the list and are all compatible, but it's only the A6000 that has been missed off. So unfortunately, for the Sony A6000 users amongst you, you're going to have to keep using a capture card to be able to use your camera as a webcam. Now recently I did make a video on how to do this, so if you check out this video here, it goes through exactly what you need and how to set that up. If you have a different Sony camera than the ones I've mentioned, check out the list to see if your camera is compatible. And then, once you check the box for your camera, you just have to download the appropriate software. This is a tiny file, it was only about 6 megabytes for me, and the installation process is very simple. You just click Next through a few windows, and before you know it, it's installed. Now, the Imaging Edge webcam software isn't an app per se, so you can't open it up and see a live view of the camera, which is a bit annoying, but it makes your camera discoverable through whatever software you're using to connect it as a webcam. So for this example, I'm going to be using OBS open broadcast software. But I've also used it on video conferencing software such as Zoom, which it worked perfectly for as well. First, you need to connect the camera to your computer. And there's a few steps that you need to do first to make sure this works correctly. So first in the camera's menus, before you've plugged it into the computer, go to Setup, USB connection, and make sure PC remote is selected. Then connect the camera to your computer using the USB cable that came with the camera. Then launch the software that you want to use the camera through. So as I mentioned, we're going to be using OBS. In OBS, you need to add a new source, which is the little plus button here, and select the type of video capture. And on the drop down here, the camera will be called Sony Camera Imaging Edge. And there you go, straight away you can see this is up and running. Now you might need to make sure the camera is in auto mode if it doesn't work in movie mode straight away. You just change this by pressing the center button and putting that on auto, and then you can move it over to movie mode. But for me, it worked on movie mode straight away, but that's just something you might have to do. So here now is a quick example of a Sony A5100 being used as a webcam using the Imaging Edge webcam. So as you can see straight away, the quality isn't as high as recording video to the camera's memory card using the proper video formats. That's, that's what you would expect. But the frame rate is probably a little bit laggy and, that, and the resolution is only 576 by 1024. So unfortunately that is a lot less than 1080p, which the camera normally provides. I don't know why the resolution is so low, but this is what you've got. But as you can see, it would make a good quality webcam much better than most built-in webcams and easily good enough for stuff like live streaming. Unfortunately, the resolution is only 576 by 1024, which is what, half of 1080p? So it's a big downgrade and I don't really understand why they weren't able to provide full resolution from this camera, but that's what we've got. 
and it will look a lot better than most webcams. So overall, a nice little release from Sony. You may argue that it should always have been available, but at least it is now. And it's perfect if you just want to be able to use a camera that you've already got as a webcam or for live streaming or video conferencing, stuff like that, without having to shell out for a capture card, which admittedly are much cheaper than they used to be, but this just makes it a little bit easier and without having to spend any extra money. And at the moment, with a lot of people working from home, it's a good entry point to be able to do this quickly and cheaply. So if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video. If you'd like to check out any of my photography, you can find it on Instagram at Aaron.Prescott. But that's it from me for now. Until next time, see ya.